Hi, Mr. Tarine. Hi. Hi. How, How are you? Fantastic. That's beautiful. Thank you today for talking with me. I know you have a busy, busy schedule. So I truly, truly appreciate you talking with me today. It's so how, yes, it's good to see you. So how have you been during a pandemic? Uh, you mean the whole pandemic, the whole year? Is just what you're asking? Yes. Um, I'm yes. alive. We're alive. Yeah. I know it's been hard and difficult and we have to shift and, but I'm a survivor. I recycle myself. I refresh myself. I reinvent myself. I, Absolutely. And uh, so, yeah, there's been a lot of sadness and, you know, pain and we can't do everything that we want to do, but um, I think God always makes a way. He always makes Absolutely. a way. He, he always makes a better way. We can't see mm. it right now, but it's always better. Um, Absolutely. So I am, I'm really blessed. And not to say that we didn't have bad days, but I mm -hmm. I learned how to play the piano. I wrote songs. I started a podcast. Mm -hmm. I used the time I had um, to, to, to hopefully the world's benefit, I, I guess. But um, yeah, and, and it kind of forced me into introspection, to look into my life, to change some of those things that I didn't like to grow. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and and by the way, you have been making beautiful, beautiful music, inspiring music, I must say. Very inspiring. Very, very. So so how did you get started in the entertainment industry? Because you've been in it for a while. Yeah, I, you know, I've been singing since I was young, six years old. And then I went mm -hmm. to a performing arts school. Um, but to tell you the truth, it wasn't like I was trying to be in the business i don't think i think it was like more of a calling um mm. I really started to connect to the gift that i had and what i could do for other people how i could help people how it made me feel um and then you start to find out your purpose you know mm -hmm. and so many many times i tried to get, like get out of it um but now i just feel like it's a purpose thing i wake up every morning with a purpose of, to inspire people mm. and I look at the gifts that i've been given and i say which one should i use today or what, what, what can i use today what can i do today um but yeah it took i always say it takes mentors and some teachers and some people to really speak into you because you might not see it yourself at first right um it's hard to look at yourself in an objective way when you're young because you're right. always comparing yourself you don't think you're good enough you know, so it takes other people to tell you, not that you're just good, also, that you can use work, you have potential, lead you into a path where you think you could kind of make, make something out of it. So I had those teachers, those inspirational people in my life to kind of guide me and say, hey, this is what we see, right? You might not see it, but we yeah. see this. And if you can do this, you can grow into this thing. So yeah, it's been a long, long time, like you said, and I don't have any plans on stopping um, but I've just, I've been fortunate, very fortunate. Um, but it kind of started with that spark of inspiration and the connection. I always mm -hmm. tell people, why are you doing it? You know, why are you mm -hmm. doing this? You know, mm -hmm. and if you don't mm -hmm. have a reason, I don't even care what your reason is. I have to be my reason. But if you don't have right. a driving reason, not just mm -hmm. a, a reason, because then that's why you fall and you get up, fall and get a, a driving reason for you to be resilient and diligent. If you don't have that you're not going to make it. So for me, my mm. reason is God gave me a gift and mm. I trust, I trust that he's going to bring whatever he wants out of it, out of me. So that's my driving reason. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And that's so, so beautiful. And it, it, what I love what you just said is what's your reason behind it? We move off a of reason. We don't, sometimes we try to figure out our purpose, but if we set a goal and, and find out the reason why we're doing it, then we'll understand why it's happening, how it's happening. That's so important that you just said that. Beautiful. So tell me, Mr. Brooks, how did you get about doing Temptations? How did you get, how did, how did that come about, Temptations? Like, how did it start? How did, how did, how did, was you with the cast members, with the producer? Like, how was that process? How was that journey? Because you were amazing. You all were amazing, but I mean, phenomenal. Thank you. Um, I just auditioned, you know, my agent said there's an audition for this show called The Temptations. And of course, you're like, well, I'm just going to go down there because you're not going to get I'm not going to get it, you know. Um, wow. 
and it took a couple auditions but yeah it wasn't some real magical the magical part was them choosing me after looking mm. at my resume knowing i didn't do nothing you know um Hi. but there was some kind of innocent thing about it because i think i just thought it was not going to happen so i was more calm instead of thinking oh i really want this i really this is amazing i was like this is impossible you know um yeah i was 23 years old and um yeah, you just audition, audition for Paul. Most people know the story. And then the producers was like, no, you're Eddie Kendricks. And then from that moment forward, it, it kind of rolled through. But so yeah, to, to this day, it's probably the most monumental thing and blessed thing that I've ever um, yes. done to do. But there's no magical thing about how really mm -hmm. it came about. Just an audition, just an opportunity. And um, sometimes things are, not sometimes, things are meant for each and every one of us. There's something meant for you. And mm. There's nothing you can really do about it. Maybe you can sabotage it, you know, of course. But right. no one really can snatch out anything that God mm. really has for you. I didn't know it was for me at the time, but there's probably nothing I could have done. I just showed up and it was already made for me. That's how I felt. Now, I did, I did work hard. I did dedicate myself to doing the best job that I could, even in my, I didn't know what I was doing moments, but there was a grace on me is what I'm saying, because mm. I really believe that I was chosen for that. And I think that is something that even to this day, when I'm going through disappointments, I'm like, I was chosen for that. Why am I not chosen for this? <laughs> why not? Why am I not mm. chosen for that? <laughs> you know, right. you have grace where you have grace and mm. I you have to embrace the fact that there's, enough for everybody and so i i just say that that moment playing eddie kendricks was um aside from the abilities that i had and the giftings that i had and the work that i did that was just my gift my thing you know amazing amazing so 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 Teron, so tell me you know was it challenging i'm getting into eddie kendricks role was it challenging or I don't know. I'm not gonna say was it challenging, was it hard, was it difficult, or was this was it were you confident in just knowing that you could just do it? Well, you know, uh I think I think there's so many similarities between him and I uh, mm. that made it when you cast when they cast right, you know, you, you don't have to really worry about some things you do when you feel like it's out of character or something like right. that. But I didn't feel that I felt the weight of him being a real person. And really mm. wanting to honor his family and friends and fans. And I mean, that weight was always upon me, which made me work hard. Um, mm. But we had probably a month, four or five weeks of rehearsal. And so once we started to say, okay, as the five guys, we can do this, the, the dancing and the singing and all that, I think that gave us confidence to go into filming with like, okay, because if we didn't have the steps down and if we didn't have that, you know, precision and all that down we probably been would have been more nervous but for that rehearsal per, uh, process it gave us the confidence to say i think we could probably do it and we had good people around us that knew eddie kendrick's knew the temptations to give us those feedbacks of course i did the re research on it but like my previous statement it i just felt like it i walked into something that mm. Now, you always can sabotage yourself. You could always say, I'm not enough. And you could always, you know, but right. I trusted that, wow, I got this far. Um, if I just believe in, you know, performing came naturally for me as a singer and, and, a, and a dancer and right. you know, a musician. The acting part was new. And I did have to lean on my co-stars and my brothers to help me through that. But everybody, the chemistry, there was just such a love for the Temptations and the mm. love for this project that everybody brought out the best from each other right um, so i think the challenge was to overcome the days where i felt overwhelmed and like oh i, I don't belong here i shouldn't be here you know mm -hmm. so i just had to dismiss those thoughts and and jump into it and say i'm just going to do the best that i can i always say this like you mm -hmm. do the best you can and you leave the door wide open for god to do the rest if you don't leave the door wide open, your best will never be great. <laughs> and you'll always be wondering, I'm uh, and all insecure. Or no, do your very best. Leave the door wide open. Come on in, God. Mm. Watch what he does with, with your insecurities, with your 
you know, limitations, you know. Um, mm. I think, so that's, the, I just have to partner with the person that got me the job <laughs> and, uh, and enjoy myself. And um, again, go back to the why. I really wanted to honor this man mm. and show people uh, his soul and his heart, you know. Beautiful, beautiful, Mr. Brooks. Beautiful, beautiful. And yet, Cass, that, that new, uh, movie is legendary. Will always be all of you all did beautiful. So, yes, you did that. You did that. Beautiful. So, so tell me, how did you start off in Broadway? You've done Hairspray, Lion King. Like, how did you get that? I mean, you're gifted. But I was like, whoa, Broadway. Like, I want to do Broadway one day. But tell me, how did you get into Broadway? I mean, that's the funny thing. I don't know if I ever thought I would do that, you know? I don't mm. know. I just, you know, I had an agent. I went to a performance school. I was studying musical theater uh, and you know, you just audition for these roles. And the funny thing is, is that I don't consider myself like a great dancer, but the shows you mentioned, Lion King and Hairspray had a, a lot of dancing in those shows. So yes. I, I think it's just, uh, you know, I have great agents and people around me. I think it's me telling myself that nothing's impossible. Mm, mm -hmm. so you tell yourself that nothing's impossible. Mm. You don't put a limitation or a bar on what, can happen. I think early on in my career, I wanted to just be a singer and win a Grammy. That was it, you know, and I haven't won a Grammy yet. I, you know, I started to widen up my possibilities and say, you know what, if it's inspirational, if it fits into the why and what, then let's try it all. Let's mm. say we can do it all. Let's go to the audition. Let's seize the opportunity and see what happened. And then when you surrender to the opportunities as opposed to like creating the opportunities in, in a box and saying it has to be like this you open up the possibilities because you're saying i just want to inspire i just want to encourage people i and then once god hears that the opportunities you didn't even think about start ha happening for you because you're willing mm -hmm. to be flexible mm -hmm. right have yeah. your goals have your goals set. i had many goals i still have many goals set that i've still not achieved but I'll tell you the truth, a mm. lot of, I, that's why my show is called Impossible Dreams. A lot mm. of the things that I've done, Temptations, Broadway, uh, film, have not been things that I have imagined at all. Mm. At all. There's mm -hmm. other things that I have really put down on paper, you know, but these other things have kind of fell upon me because I think I was open, you know? So yeah, the Broadway thing is just incredible. I will say this to people who are aspiring to do that. Um, yeah. Broadway is the highest, you know, level of theater that mm -hmm. we deem, you know, the highest level. But wherever you are, you know, it's like I, I just did a cruise ship job uh, last week, and I gave fifty thousand percent. Like it didn't matter that that was Broadway and this was a cruise ship and that's church and that. Right. I just. And so, you know, you try to work hard at what you do everywhere you are, you know, uh, and then those opportunities find you. So then you're not going, oh, it's Broadway. I got to do this. I got No, it's the same mentality. It's the same spirit. It's the same heart that you put into all the things that you do. So I'm not belittling the, what I'm what I'm saying. I'm just saying that mm -hmm. I don't look at those opportunities like different. Oh, it's this. Oh, it's this. You treat mm. the people. The people are people that you're performing for. And they mm. deserve, you know, and what, what is the adage, you know, what, what God, what God does with little, he'll make much, you know, mm. you, you start with little and he's watching and seeing, what are you going to do with this little show? That's not Broadway. You know, what are you going to do with that indie movie? That's not temptation. What are you going to do with that record mm. that nobody really hears and you didn't get signed? You know, you put all your energy into that and then some of the doors start opening. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. And Mr. Brooks, tell me how important it is to have faith. Oh, faith is everything. Faith, because I Ooh. don't know anybody who really trusts themselves. Mm. <laughs> you know, but whether you believe in God and whatever you believe in, you, you really trust yourself to make a whole, you know, knowing, <laughs> you know. How, right. And I'm not saying that you, I'm not saying not to believe in yourself. Mm, mm -hmm. I'm just saying the faith is the trusting yourself. Mm, mm -hmm. As humans, there's so much frailty 
How can you trust that you're not going to have a bad day, that you're not going to have a bad moment, that you're not going to be affected, that your neighbor's doing better than you, that you're not going to be jealous? How do you trust that all the time? Mm -hmm. Put that into the right perspective when your big moment comes tomorrow, you know, and there's fear based and there's unworthiness. And all. You have to have faith in something bigger than yourself to get you through. Even if you are having a great day of I'm this, I'm that, I got it, I'm all that, you know, there's just right. too many times where we don't feel that way. And so mm. faith is, mm -hmm. that's what, what is faith? A substance of things that you can't see, you know what I mean? Mm. So if I'm going to temptations audition, then I can't really see how this is going to work out. But I have faith that mm. even though I can't see it, I'm going to do whatever I need to do and and let the things unravel in the way that it's supposed to there's a plan for all of us right so to answer your question yeah for me uh and i'm not even perfect there are days where i am completely discouraged there are days where I'm completely we all love we, we all love you know and and that's the beautiful thing about it if you if you tell the truth you can mm -hmm. find people and go oh that's a shared experience everybody mm -hmm. you're not the only one you know what i mean feeling like no one's paying attention nobody cares you know so faith lifts you out of that delusion, you know? Now, Absolutely. it's real to us, you know? Right. But it's really a delusion because reality is, is, is lifted beyond what you can see. Reality is the future, not your past, um, mm. not what you didn't do before. It's future-based. And who only can see the future? God. Absolutely. And Absolutely. You, you partner with faith with somebody who knows even with this pandemic i mean are we about to be shut down in two more days who knows really mm. god does so yes if I put my, yes he if does I put my faith in that then i can trust hopefully mm. things will work out absolutely. yeah absolutely absolutely yes 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 beautiful you just dropped knowledge and the jewels beautiful beautiful i pray everybody just receive that that was a message so. for y'all um, yes, I, I'm saying it. I'm saying it from experience. I really am. I really mm. am. Yes, yes, yes. So, Mr. Brooks, you have a single that you just dropped. You just dropped the lyrics to it. Something's coming. Beautiful yes. song. Beautiful. Very beautiful. Yes. So, tell me, what was the process of you creating this beautiful song? Well, the album. You know, we're doing this whole Soul of Broadway. We have a Soul of Broadway album coming out September 17th. And we had okay. the first single was Tomorrow from Annie. So it's a Broadway album, but it's soulfully reimagined these Broadway songs that you know. So we just had a concept of twisting, being very rebellious with these arrangements and, and bringing my artistry into these songs that we all know that are anthems for people and making it more personal to, to mm -hmm. people as opposed to based on the character of a show. So West Side Story is Something's Coming, and that's Tony and Maria. So I'm the Black Tony, no. Uh, and this song, Something's Coming, I sing all the time at auditions and everything. I've always loved this song. We just mm -hmm. you know, kind of reimagined it in more, more of a joyful, fun, um, kind of Bruno Mars, Michael Jackson kind of way. Um, and right. I love the, the, the lyric is around the corner. There's a miracle yeah. do. Something's coming, you know? Yes. I got a feeling and it's going to be good. How inspirational is that? Mm, it, very it's so on brand for me even though it's a broadway show and it's a broadway musical and so uh i'm excited about it friday august 6th the single will be available but you can look at the lyric video now go to yeah. instagram and and then our music video comes out friday we did a mini movie for the song it's gonna be so cool so yeah it just uh i was always inspired by of course i'm, I'm a broadway performer but if I was going to do a show, a Broadway show, how would I sing the songs? You know, how would I right. them coming to life? So um, I love creativity and because um, there's a it's, it's subjective, right? You might like it. Someone right. else might not like it, you, you know, but you don't really listen at first to people. You listen mm. to your, you know, creative mind. You what feeds you and do what you think you like, you know? Ooh. And then you find a home for it, you know? Yes, yes. Now, now, Mr. Brooks, what I just love what you said, do not listen to people. That is so important because a lot of people, especially my generation, 
we go off of what people say, what what's best for us, what what how they feel, how what they think, or shit, I'm doing too much, or am I doing a little or doing enough? Tell me how important it is to just listen to your inner self. How important is that? Uh it's important. I mean mm. it it's important to listen to people that you trust. Okay. That's the, that's the thing. It's a balance between just listening to yourself and then listening to people that you trust. Only because even if I trust you doesn't mean I have to take everything you say. Right. But because I trust you, I can listen with an open heart and open ear just in case there is something that makes sense or something that resonates to me, right? So it's a balance. But if you can't hear your own thoughts, then you're only going to be listening to everybody else and everyone mm. else will inform what you think you're hearing as opposed to taking time to get to know yourself and to know what you think and what you believe first. That's a process. So you right. can listen to other people and it won't devastate you when somebody goes, they don't like that or you shouldn't do that. You can smile and be like, oh, okay, you know, because you've already had that moment with yourself. So mm -hmm. many people are, you know, tagging along other people's baggage and other people's opinions and, other, and, and walk in with this whole like Erica Badu bag lady, you know, Right. Uh, let that stuff go. Mm. Go to the source, God, who who employed you first. Get, mm. the, get the 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 assignment. Check in. Right. Make sure what that is that that's pure, and then define who those people are that you, if you need. Parent that I had blocked a lot of feedback, which hurt me, like because mm. I took it personal or I was so defensive, or they didn't like it, or, you know, or they don't like me, or, you know. Right. So I'm, I'm opening myself to the, to the criticism or to the, the opinions of others, already knowing who I'm asking, mm. and already knowing what I really think it should be. And then if something resonates, being honest enough to say, you know what, that makes kind of sense. All of it don't make sense, but I'm going to take this little and this little and that takes a lot of time to create that, those people. Absolutely. 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 And, and Mr. Brooks, tell me how important it is to not give up. Oh, I mean, that's just everything. It's just the most, um, you know, kind of trite, easy thing to say. What's some advice? Don't give up. You know, you tell people that. But it's true. Right. Like, the right. end is when you give up. That's mm -hmm. it. When the day you give up is the end. The end does not happen until mm. we leave this earth. So you have, mm. even if you're getting goal after goal after goal and monument after monument and, and, and you're moving up and there's no end till the end. So the don't give up is completely important mm -hmm. um, because you, I want to see what happens at the end. I do, you know what I mean? Right. And at the age I am right now, I'm just stepping into some wonderful things um, mm. based on my availability as myself, based on my identity, based on the processing of all the trials I've gone through, the, the walking through the fire. Now I'm just getting there, you know? So if I were to give it up because uh, I didn't see it or I didn't believe it, I wouldn't even get to this moment. So it's very mm. important to, to not give up, be your own cheerleader because you can't just rely on everybody else cheering you on. You have to have mm. this leader voice hopefully it's god something propelling you to move forward to say get up every day um, right and you never know like like the song said there's a miracle do something's coming keep pushing keep believing get back up yes you messed up try it again reframe your your ideas and your your and and, and grow and um enjoy the journey not just the destination or the mm. product that you enjoy the if you're making a record, enjoy every day in the studio. Yeah, it's going to come out. Yeah, but the process is a beautiful thing. Same thing with life. Mm, beautiful, 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 Mr. Briggs. Beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. So, Mr. Briggs, can you tell everybody your platforms, where to follow you at, um, projects? I know that you, you have a lot going on, so all your projects is coming out, everything. Just let the world know. Yeah, well, you can follow me, you know, Teron Brooks, follow me here on Instagram, mm -hmm. for sure. Follow me on Facebook. I do respond to people. Um, you can, um, we have a podcast, Honest Answers with Teron Brooks. We did the first season, so. Yes, beautiful you, season. Wherever you listen to podcasts, we had a great, Sheila E., Crystal Lewis, we had great people on the podcast. So we're going to do season two in October, so. Wherever you get podcasts, the single, I have music on iTunes, on Spotify, other albums, other 
get the solo Broadway album that's coming out, get the single this Friday, go to YouTube and subscribe uh, to my YouTube channel. If you, if you want, I have a book out, uh, something good on the table, amazon.com. You can get my book. What else? I mean, just type my name in and find, find me and you can get some inspiration, but um, I love to chat to, with people and talk to people. So DM me or message me and um, you know, people like us, we need that support. We're independent artists. Definitely. We, we, you know, I have a distribution label, but a lot of the stuff that you're getting is me grinding with the team of people trying to mm. bring you. And we need even, even uh, an encouraging word. You don't know how special you've done that to me, you know, special that is, you know, yeah. uh, or reposting or telling somebody to go find it. You know, that's what the whole thing is about, you know. So I appreciate, you know, people who do that for me. You, you've done that too, so. Yes, yes, I appreciate you, Mr. Teron. I appreciate you even talking, talking with me. This is such an honor, such yeah. an honor. No Truly problem. blessed, me. such an honor. I really, really appreciate it. So Mr. Brooks, I just want you to know, I want you to continue to be legendary, continue to be an inspiration, con continue to bring us beautiful things that we need in this world of confusion today, you know. I pray every day that the world gets better because I have a son, so I have to pray. And you have children, you know, we want our children to be all right in this world that we're living in. And um, you just you just continue to just to be that vessel that God is using you to be. Continue to be that king. And I, and I appreciate you talking with me today. Yeah, it's been, a, it's been amazing. I'm glad that you have a platform to, to share and to inspire people as well. That's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. It's just my pleasure to meet you, and hopefully we can do it again sometimes. Um, I don't know if anybody have any questions or anything, but yeah, it's been a been a great day, and just it's hard. Life is not easy. It is, you know, and so we should say that as inspirational as we want to be. It's difficult, but mm -hmm. you're not alone. You're not by yourself. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And plug in to music or inspiration or whatever. Don't just sit into this place of solitude and isolation. Mm. Plug into something. And that's what I'm trying right. to, to produce and give. You can follow me and get some inspiration. And you can follow you and get the same inspiration. And um, we can grow together because we're more that's alike than we are separate. That's why if you look at, listen to the podcast, mm. you mm -hmm. see all these celebrity people. Leon from The Temptations. He was my first right. guest. <laughs> and you get to get a get a sense that as humans, no matter the platform, we're all trying to figure this thing out. And it's inspirational when you walk on the journey with other people. Even if you I don't even know you, you know, and like I feel great that we had these few minutes. So Yes, yes. And I feel the same. The same. Absolutely. Absolutely. So Mr. Brooks, thank you so much. I wish I could just talk to you forever and ever and ever. We're gonna talk again because I needed all your inspiration. I definitely need it. <laughs> but I appreciate you so much talking with me today. And you have a beautiful and blessed day. Continue just doing beautiful work. Beautiful work. So I pray for you and all your projects that it will be a blessing. God will heal it, receive it, and the whole universe will. So thank you so much. It. Thank you for your support so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in with me, Mother Earth, today. I love you all. You all have a beautiful and bless day. Continue to be great. Continue to do great things. Continue to keep God first and just continue to be you. So I love you all. You all have a beautiful and blessed day. Thank you for tuning in today with Mother Earth.